Hi there. This is uh, one of three videos looking at how we can model supply and demand and equilibrium price in the market using uh, linear demand and supply functions. In this video, we're going to take a look at the supply side of the market. So we can actually write a supply function as an equation. In this case, QS, quantity of supplied, equals C plus DP. So QS is the quantity supplied of the product. C is the level of supply that is independent of the market price. And P is the market price of the product. Now normally, of course, we expect a positive relationship between market price and supply because producers are responding to the profit motive. D is the coefficient of price. It tells us how, how much supply will respond when the price of the product changes. So let's take an example. Here's our function again, QS equals C plus DP. Assume that the supply function for a mining company is as follows. QS equals minus 60 plus 10P. Now that's quite important. That suggests that for the mining company to, uh, to dig coal or whatever it is out of the ground, it needs a certain price. Indeed, the lowest price in this situation that the mining company is willing and able to sell anything to the market will be $6 because of the price of $6, 10 times 6 is 60, supply will start to become positive. If the market price is $7, then putting the numbers into the equation, we find that supply will be 10, minus 60 plus 10 times 7. If the market price is $8, well, you can work out what happens to quantity supplied, supply will go up to 20. In other words, we're showing that an increase in the market price causes an expansion of supply, other factors remaining the same. We're, hit, we're hinting here at the law of supply, the upward sloping supply curve. Of course, changes in cost can, can cause shifts in supply. Let's look at an example, a bakery. Assume the supply function for a bakery is minus 30 plus 4p. The market price here is measured in pounds. So let's assume the market price is 12 pounds quite an expensive loaf, but 12 pounds, the quantity supplied will be minus 30 plus 4 times 12, 48, it's going to be 18. However, we're going to assume there's a change in one of the conditions of supply, and if that happens, then the linear supply function will change. Let's consider in this case a fall in unit costs, perhaps, for example, there's a decrease in the price of wheat used in making loaves. So now quantity supplied is minus 20 plus 4p. In other words, it takes a lower price for the bakery to be able to supply the goods and services. And if we keep the market price at 12 and put the numbers into the equation, quantity supplied will be minus 20 plus 4 times 12, minus 20 plus 48 equals 28. You can see what's happened here. Fall in the unit cost, fall in the price of wheat has caused the supply of the bakery to increase from 18 to 28, even if the price remains the same. There's now more supply at each price. Effectively, of course, that's an outward shift of the supply curve. Now, crucially, from a revision point of view, can you visualize that? A fall in the unit costs causes an outward shift of supply. In other words, more can be supplied by this bakery at every price. Could it otherwise, of course, be an inward shift? Uh, here's our bakery again and uh, the price is 12 and quantity supply is 18. Now we're going to consider a rise and increase in the cost of production. So perhaps there's been an increase in the wage rate, the minimum wage, or maybe there's been an increase in the, in the costs of the depreciation of the equipment used in the bakery. Something that's caused the costs of the bakery to go up, not down. So we now write a new formula, minus 40 plus 4p. And at the market price of 12, instead of supplying 18, now they only supply 8. An increase in the unit cost of supply, the marginal cost of supply, has caused an inward shift of the supply curve for the bakery. We can also bring about a change in the coefficient. So assume this is a milk producer and assume the supply function is minus 12 plus 8p. P is the price of milk. At a price of tw uh, 2 litres, 2 pounds per litre, the bakery, sorry, the milk producer will supply 4 units. If there's a change in the coefficient of P, there'll be a change in supply. Now assume that supply is more responsive to the price. Instead of it being 8 times the price, 
Supply is now nine times the price. Supply is now more responsive or more dependent on the price of the product. And at that market price of two pounds per litre, quantity supplied now goes up to 24. So an increase in the coefficient makes supply more responsive to changes in price. You could work out perhaps a fall in the coefficient making supply less responsive to changes in price. In other words, a change in the elasticity of supply. So there we go. There's an introduction to linear supply functions. Check out our video where we bring linear demand and supply functions together to show equilibrium price and quantity and changes in the market equilibrium.